This was my outfit for December 31st. I tried it on with a bucket hat, not sure. Then I used the straw hat, not so sure. So I took off the hats and tried without. Anyway, I headed out for breakfast. That was my view, so lovely. Of course, I had to get dessert. I love the prunes. Then I walked out to the Corniche, a place I was told I could watch fireworks from. It was a walkable distance from the hotel. The place was serene. There were not very many people. As you can see, it was literally empty. So I sat by the waterfront, watched some people out there. And then I also took a walk by the beach. Had to also take some pictures, of course, in different angles. Yes. So I walked to the beach that has the white sand. Just there were many, but I couldn't be out here recording them. Then generally the place was quiet, the air was so cool and warm, the sun was giving, yes, so I was really happy. Before I knew it, the day had ended, it was 11 p.m. And back to the streets, people were now thronging to the Corniche where I was earlier. The lights were up on the streets, people were ready with their cameras to capture the fireworks. Before we knew it, it was 2024 and yes, the sky is lit up with fireworks and as you can see it was magnificent the place was so crowded with families people from all age groups families with children elderly adults teenagers all those guys were there and they were really enjoying the fireworks and celebrating their entry into 2024 So basically the skies were filled with smoke. So all these people were now heading back home. I went back, my bags were packed, I was ready to check out. And I had a bit of flu but it was time to go. Yeah, so the butler came and picked my stuff and um, I was going to miss this room but it was time to go. I had to be at the airport in two hours since it was almost time for check-in. I'm checking my bags and I've uh, been listening to Watoto Church online, the crossover to the new year. So of course I couldn't cross into the new year just with fireworks. I also had to listen to and watch Watoto Church online. Anyway, we headed out. I got an Uber since taxis were not available. And trust me, it was triple expensive at this point because the demand was high. We headed to the airport, got my luggage, and uh, I had to look for the place I was going to check in from. There were not so many people, surprisingly, at this point. We had to sit for a while. Anyway, it was time to check in. And this is me watching something called Arctic Void. And it was an interesting one, I must say. At this point, I was hungry and had to get something to eat. Go to Entebbe, had to go to baggage claim. This is my luggage. I had everything in one piece. Yeah, I got a new suitcase. Anywho, had to get an Uber. It was also super expensive this side because I had to go across town. We drove out of Entebbe and uh, before I knew it, it was already dark. But I'm glad to be back home. Happy New Year.